Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to talk about the three theories that explain selective attention. The first theory that attempted to explain this phenomenon is the early selection theory. According to this theory, all the stimuli that enters our body is filtered by a selective filter which blocks all irrelevant stimuli and only allows the relevant stimuli to be perceived by our mind. This theory is a good way to explain our ability to selectively pay attention to only certain stimuli. But this theory could not explain our ability to switch our attention under certain conditions like the cocktail party effect, wherein we suddenly shift our attention to someone who calls out our name from the other end of the room while in a party. This is where the late selection theory comes into picture. This theory shifts the selection filter one step ahead. According to this theory, all external stimuli will be perceived by us and then we use our selective filter to decide what actually needs attention. But it's important to keep in mind that spending so much energy in perceiving all the stimuli is definitely a waste of energy. And this is where Treisman's attenuation theory comes into picture. This theory states that we do not have a selective filter and this selective filter is rather an attenuator which attenuates or tones down all the other stimuli that are irrelevant without complete elimination of them. In the future, if we find any of the toned down stimuli to be important, we instantly switch our attention to the new stimuli by increasing their volume. So these were the three theories that have attempted in explaining selective attention. I hope this video was helpful in understanding the three theories. That's all we have for today. Thank you.